Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and I am joined by my illustrious cameraman. He has agreed to be a part of this opening video without knowing what it entails, which is good news for me, because if he did, he probably wouldn't be here. Uh, anything to say, sir? I'm very excited. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, today we are looking into a very interesting product that Konami released. I don't know why they released it. Um, it's odd because uh, you look at a franchise like Pokemon and everything they release makes sense. You know, you've got an application, you've got the games themselves. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! will release absolutely ridiculous products. Like, they'll put a promo that makes Dark Magician playable at the bottom of the ocean, and like you have to sign up for the Konami, Konami scuba diving lessons to find it. Uh, one such product is this, uh, which is my new field center. Um, this is the first part of the unboxing, so to speak. Uh, it is potato and chips. Now, there's about four of these, but this is the only super interesting one. Um, in a bag of potato chips released in Japan only, uh, there was a pack attached that included uh, some of these Millennium Rare cards, which you can kind of see here. They have all this really cool foiling process on them. Um, but uh, uh, most of them were reprints. There were about four that weren't. They were new uh, support for an archetype called Potato and Chips, which is just these two guys and, like, their adventures. And so I thought it would be fun to bring uh, the potato to my chips, uh, my roommate, on screen to open this bad boy that came in the mail. And I... Uh, thankfully have removed all identifying information off of. Okay, so are you ready? Are you no. ready to see what's inside? I'm really not. Oh, that's good because I it's taped up real good. Oh, um, Jesus. Can you grab the scissors right yeah, there? Of course. Yeah. I don't have the nails for this. All right, here we go. Don't try this at home, kids. Scissors are dangerous tools to be used only by professional Yuki tubers. I was just surprised that potato and chip aren't in the States. Because it's the most American card I've ever seen. Yeah, right? It's like, all right, so these these uh, items are going to be released in food, and we're not giving it to the Americans. Like, that's <laughs> probably a hate crime. It's a bag of the chips. No. <laughs> so I'm going to make you eat them. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try them out. First the Cheez-Its, now this. Yeah, no, this is, this is good. By the end of this, you're going to be dead from food poisoning. <laughs> Uh, so here it is, uh, the Calbee chips released for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th anniversary. I had these shipped from California, uh, where I assume they were originally shipped from Japan. You can see on the back, we've got a little notification that you can always play Dark Magician if you don't know what's good for you. And, uh, an ad for Duel Links, uh, like if you have, uh, bad enough taste to buy these potato chips, you probably have bad enough taste to be playing Duel Links, I think is the idea behind this. Uh, you can see the nutrition facts, which thankfully we, oh no, no, they did translate them. Oh, they're not good, folks. I like that they put the, um, like, percent daily values of vitamin A and stuff uh, down here, despite there being like zero percent of any of it. Glad it's nutritional. It's all sodium. It's all sugar. How do you put sugar in a potato chip? Not all right. right. Uh... So the first thing you'll notice is this on the front, and you know, I would, Tell me it's a card. it is a card, I would feel remiss if I brought you on here and you didn't get to open anything, so, oh my, Can oh my god, what the hell, I'm gonna have to use the scissors on this, this is, I'm, I don't want to damage this expensive card, what the heck, look at this, ugh, I need Triff over here to help me open this one up, alright, we're just gonna cut this, it's actually dark magician, yeah, Ooh. E, ah, ooh. Oh, it actually has scissors up there. They don't want you to do it. They don't want to see us win. Here we go. What is this? Isn't that the Elemental Hero? Oh, this is cool! This is the uh, this is an Elemental Hero card. Oh, it looks pretty crisp. Alright, that's, that's about it. I mean, we can't play it in America. Uh, this would be a cool field center for a hero deck, and uh, someday when I save up $700, I'll, I'll buy into that. So that's our that's our opening opening per se. And now comes the good part. You ready? No. And there they are. Oh, I I'm glad to see like in America they give you about four chips and like eighty percent air. air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, dig in, dude. Here we go. We're gonna eat it at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? All right, I'm ready. One, two, two three. three. Are you sure there's salt in that? Yeah, there's, um... 
Huh. Yeah, turn that turn that bad boy over again. Yeah, there's sodium in yeah. there. That's weird. Um, the first thing I'm struck by is that they don't taste like anything. It's like the most bland chip I've ever had. Yeah, they're not salty. It's just like eating like styrofoam packing peanuts. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do like two or three at once. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that salts anything. That's a good idea. It is like a handful. I'll do like like a couple. No, that did not solve the problem. Yeah, no, it's just like a a wad of. They're not. If you ever leave Lay's out mm -hmm. and they get stale, they taste like this, except they're clearly not stale. Yeah. Like, they don't taste stale, but they have the flavor of a stale chip. It's like if I ate, like, a whole pack, it would taste like one Lay's chip. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, wow, that's, um... <laughs> that's kind of anti try, try another couple of these. I thought they were going to be disgusting, <laughs> or... Instead, they're just super boring. Yeah. Maybe this is a metaphor for Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you're always told that it's like the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 of card games, and you're like moving at a thousand miles per hour, but really it's just your opponent typing thinking into dueling book chat <laughs> about like going through the Thunder Dragon combo we all know. <laughs> yeah, those combos are tough. Yeah, they're really not worth remarking. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's upsetting. That was pretty really disappointing. Here, let me put the potato and chips here. All right, um, let's... enhance the flavor. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully they don't. All right, let's let's get the thumbnail real quick. Okay, let's look into the look into the camera mm -hmm. and pretend like um like they were the most disgusting thing you ever ate. Oh, absolutely. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, perfect. That'll be long enough. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I, I want to make that face. Yeah, That's right. It's just so boring. I was like, I mean the the thing with the the cheese at pizza was that. You, it was it was exciting. It was very exciting. At least like you know, whether we see it's like eighty percent air, twenty percent chips. This is like a hundred percent air. Yeah, like <laughs> the the true air was the friends that we made along the way, the potato and chips. The card, which is a normal monster two hundred two hundred, is more exciting than the chips. <laughs> I mm. love these two guys. They're so cute. Mm hmm. Unlike these chips, not cute. Yeah, you know, that's really about it. <laughs> Now I understand why the company that made this had to partner with Yu-Gi-Oh. They were like, no one's buying our chips because they're terrible. Please, you have to do something. Um, so I think now we can probably say definitively that the TCG has the better format. Mm -hmm. You know, not destroyed. You know, no needle fiber for two years. No. Um, and America has the better chip. Absolutely. I mean, you... you you say a lot about America, you know, um, we have no health care, um, our country is perpetually on fire, mm -hmm. um, we are very stupid, mm -hmm. um, fat, yep. lazy, uh, ugly, um, smelly, mm -hmm. uh, loud, right. but we do make a good potato chip, I mean, and so is quite good. it really does even out mm -hmm. when, you, when you stack them all up next to each other. I'll take all that for a good potato chip. Yeah, for real. Ugh, this is what this you is... all are living with in other nations? Ugh. <laughs> Cancel my travel plans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. I'm just getting nothing. Yeah, it's There's nothing. Just, it's really. It kind doesn't of even. Depressing. Yeah, it doesn't even have those like addictive chemicals no, they put in Lay's. Like, okay, no I can nicotine. stop right now. It'd be fine. Yeah, I don't want to finish it. But if I eat it, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna finish it for the purpose of the video, but like then I'm motivated by ad revenue, not by <laughs> desire to keep eating the chip. Hmm. This is like those chips that your like parents would get you. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, like, can I buy Lay's, mom? No, we have Lay's at home. This is Lay's at home. This is a divorced dad chip for sure. <laughs> like, you don't eat chips, but you want your kid to feel at home when they're like, when they're at your house for the weekend. So you're like, oh, I'll just get some chips on the way home. You go to the bodega and you pick up, you know, some of these. <laughs> you like throw out the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Like, yeah, you don't yeah, care yeah. what kind of kid shit uh, stuff is on there. You're gonna demonetize me on my own so, channel. You have <laughs> Here to you go. Blur that out. Oh. Yeah, well, well, do we eat chips at all? Who knows? Yeah, I can hardly tell. Um, I guess I'll close with this. Uh, the card's pretty cool. Uh, I like the uh, the card that's included. It looks kind of sweet. Um, the um, the picture is very pretty. You know, you got like um, like these deep blues, and it's not a an idiot card in a miasma like eighty percent of Yu-Gi-Oh cards look like. Um, 
The packaging is nice because it reminds you to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and lets you know your life could always be worse, but yeah, very disappointing chips overall, yeah. I would say. Uh, 100%. Well, thank you for being on. Uh, I look forward to um, actually making you eat something <laughs> satisfying at some point in the future. Or unsatisfying. At yeah, least I know. feel something. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's a very, um, a very harsh critique of uh, nihilism here on our family-friendly Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. I've got the chip, Jerry. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye.